Hi friends, today I'm going to make this gorgeous pink pasta, pasta with tomato and uh, ready-made uh, chicken kofta balls which are basically chicken meatballs and I'm going to make a lovely pasta sauce uh, which is my own creation and uh, I have got, I am going to put the pasta in the boiling water right now and then I'm going to come back and show you how I make the sauce. So now I've got my beautiful pink pasta which I've drizzled in olive oil and my chicken kofta or chicken uh, ready made uh, chicken balls uh, which and I'm going to make the pasta sauce and I'm going to show that to you in detail. It's got a bit of an Indian twist in it because I'll be using Indian spices to make it more flavorful and tasty. I am frying the chicken meat balls now on a medium flame uh, in shallow frying in a little bit of olive oil and after they are nice and uh, golden brown I'm going to be taking them off and making the pasta sauce. So hi there, we have all our ingredients for making the pasta sauce. <clears throat> of course we have the beautiful pink uh, tomato pasta there. We have the ready made uh, meatballs which I have uh, shallow fried to golden brown. We have the ready made pasta sauce, crushed red pepper which is optional if you have kids you don't have to use it but we like spicy. We have a large red onion which I'm going to be dicing up into small cubes. Uh, we have ginger garlic paste. I'm going to be using half a tablespoon. And we have the Indian spices to spruce things up. So what do we have here? One tablespoon of coriander powder. One teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of red chili powder. You can omit this if you have kids. We have one teaspoon of cumin powder and one and a half teaspoon of garam masala powder. So let's get started. And let's take a look at what the bunnies are doing inside. They are wondering what the mama is doing inside the kitchen. They always like me to be around but when I cook I have to be inside. So they've just had their dinner and they're getting ready for a nap as you can see chocolate has become a loaf and cocoa is a semi loaf so we put in our onion a large red diced onion and half a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and we we'll wait for the onions to turn a nice golden brown before we add the ready made pasta sauce and now I put in half a jar of pasta sauce which is approximately 200 grams of pasta sauce or two big tablespoons full, uh, sorry cooking spoonful of pasta sauce and I am waiting for the natural sauce flavor or the tomato flavor of the pasta sauce to come out because when you use a ready made pasta sauce you will see there is a kind of a canned flavor to it which is not very pleasant so you have to let it cook for some time to get out that smell and flavor after this I will be adding all the Indian spices that I showed you earlier so after the pasta sauce reduced a bit I added in all the Indian spices and I'm going to be cooking it for another 5 to 7 minutes uh, till the oil starts coming on top and then I shall add a little bit of water and of course 
uh, two cubes of cheese to get a little bit of a pink kind of a color before I add the meatballs and then the pasta. Now as you can see how beautifully the oil has come on top. I'm going to be adding half a cup of water first and let it introduce down again till the oil comes on top. The more you do this, you'll be getting out the aroma of the Indian spices that you have used and the aftertaste of the ready-made pasta sauce which is very important if you want to have a flavorful dish for dinner. After putting in a cup of water, I have added two cubes of cheese as you can see here and I'm going to stir until the cheese melts so that the sauce becomes a light pink color and then at this stage you can add a pinch of sugar. Now what's the purpose of adding a pinch of sugar? There's, uh, there are some, there are certain condiments and spices which bring out the flavor of the tomatoes. One is sugar and the second is the Indian spice called garam masala. So I added a, just a pinch of sugar into this and I am dissolving the cheese into the, into the pasta sauce to make it a light pink flavor. As you can see the cheese is nicely melting and I am going to wait for this to reduce a little bit again till the oil comes on top and then I shall add the ready made chicken meatballs that I have. I added in half a teaspoon of crushed pepper flakes, red chili flakes and this is optional. We like it a little spicy and that is why I added it in. Before this I added a pinch of sugar to bring out the flavor of the tomatoes and now I am going to be adding in the meatballs and the pasta and baking it after that. And there goes the pasta into the sauce. It smells amazing in here and very flavorful it's got a beautiful aroma it's juicy and the addition of the indian spices have brought it up to a whole new level